in any city, in any country, go to any mental institution, hospital, or halfway house you can get yourself to. Walk up to the front desk and ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of decay. The attendant will look at you with a distressed expression and begin to pick at his skin. He will, a few seconds later, lead you to a slimy and crowded door deep within the institution and leave in a hurry, scratching at his skin and cursing until he disappears down the hallway leaving a trail of mucus. Enter the door to be assailed by the sickening smell of rot. Take one step in and have a look around. A room of crumbling brick, sticky walls dripping with a foul unidentifiable substance, and filled wall to wall with rotted bodies and other organic matter, decaying and writhing with insects and parasites. So many worms and insects, the sound is deafening. The wet and fetid sound of mandibles, legs, and the consumption of decay walk a little further towards the center of the room, until you see the nude and green mottled corpse of a woman hanging, illuminated by light coming from an unseen source. As soon as you lay eyes on her, Thousands of crawling insects will burst into action crawling up the walls, down the cable and onto the woman. Thousands of worms, centipedes, millipedes, maggots, earwigs, silverfish, and countless other unidentifiable creatures will cover her, and she will raise her purulent head and open her eyes to reveal parasitic worms wriggling under the membranes. Other insects will cover you, and you must not react in any way. She will reach out her arm of thousands of scribbling legs, and touch your face with its thousands of slimy feelers, legs, and antennae. If you show the slightest sign of discomfort or disgust, you will be condemned to right here for eternity, fed on by vermin and fully conscious. You must only ask how long will you rot, and she will open her mouth as wide as your head revealing thousands of red centipedes. You must now keep your eyes open from here on in. If you close them for longer than it takes to blink, your suffering will make hers look pleasant in comparison. She will take your head in her giant, black maw of a mouth, and inside you will hear an agonizingly long tail of decay. While the centipedes nibble your flesh, crawl into your mouth, nose and ears, and their sharp little legs scrape your eyeballs. When she is finished, she will release you from her maw and you will be permitted to search under all the insects and decay for the object. The insects will begin reproducing at an incredible rate, and their sheer volume, which was once down at your ankles, will now rise to your knees, your hips, and beyond. They will begin to eat you and burrow under your skin and threaten to consume you completely. You must use your sense of touch and find the object quickly. Take care not to slip on the decay underneath you. If you fall down, you don't have a hope in hell of ever escaping this place. If you are lucky enough to find the item before you are eaten or suffocated by the ever-growing legion of insects, you must consume it as soon as you acquire it. Any hesitation will result in failure, and a small glass box is a decaying length of intestine full of insects and parasites, oozing and vomit-inducing. Consume this completely, and you will find yourself on the streets safe from all harm. But vomiting profusely, if you live through this, the item that remains is yours. This is object 163 of 538, and it will slowly rot your insides for the rest of your life.